Hey, what's up guys? We are going to link my Android phone here into this Windows 10 laptop that I have so that we'll be able to access the Android apps that are installed in my phone into my Windows 10 computer system. This is a feature that has been available to Windows 10 for a while right now and it has been very useful. Just imagine having your phone inside Windows 10 and using them at the same time. Okay, you can also have the notifications enabled in the messages in your Windows 10 computer. Not only that you can access and run the apps into your computer from your phone, even the photos in the videos files that you have there will be easily accessible in Windows 10. Anytime soon, Microsoft will come up with an update that will take us to a better experience in using this feature that you have. This simple animation will show us how quickly we can launch our apps from our Windows 10 when the update will arrive. Unlike what we have right now, it's kind of mirrored. This one, you can work with your apps simultaneously with Windows 10. So basically everything will be like good for multitasking. Take note that at the time of this recording, this feature on Windows 10 is available on Samsung devices running 9.0 Android and above. I'll also put a link on the description below so that you can have a full list of those devices that are supported. As of now, it seems like this is only a partnership between Samsung and Microsoft having that feature that you can connect both devices and have to access the apps, files, notifications, and messages on your phone. So I'll walk you through how you can connect your mobile phone Android device into the Windows 10 computer system. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we start guys, make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network with your laptop. So both of them should be connected on the same network. Access my um, set more settings here on Android. You, you know this one if you are an Android user, you just drop that down and you should be able to see link to Windows, okay? This one, you click this one, then link your phone and PC. So I'll just go ahead and link that. Um, I have my account, so I'll just go ahead and um, go continue. App permissions, continue. Then allow your phone to access your contacts. Allow your phone to make phone calls because this will allow Windows 10 to um, use your phone. Okay, let's find your PC. Select start menu, open up your phone and follow instructions, sign in with Fusion my email address that is connected with Windows 10 and then continue. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go to my laptop. So here in my laptop guys, just go ahead in your search menu and type in Microsoft. Look for Microsoft Store because we need to install a program that uh, is free, uh, your phone. And uh, you can search as one on the website or search it on Microsoft Store, then you get to have uh, your phone just get then it will start to initiate the setup so I have my email address that is connected to Microsoft that is fusion I at yahoo.com I need to enter my password to be able to sign in then uh, this will you know do its thing get that um, your phone app ready then this will start to download we basically need to wait for this one to finish up This will be a quick download and install. Okay, we're done. I also included my phone at the right corner here so that we can see what's happening between my phone and my computer screen. So I'll just go ahead and open this one up. Then here you go, 90%. It's starting to detect my phone here. Okay, here on my phone it says here, you can see allow this phone to connect to your phone app. Okay, yeah, of course, allow. Allow the connection, allow. That's my phone. On my PC, you can see that it's going to be connected. Welcome. Um, get started. Then you can see that link to Windows is on. Do you want to pin your phone to the taskbar? Mm, yes, I'll do that. Then here you can see the phone that I have. It's a Genard's Galaxy A50. I can access my photos. I can access my notifications, my messages, and of course, calls. I can receive it here. At the same time, my phone screen. Get started. I wanna check my phone screen if it's indeed my phone that is connected to this Windows 10. 
Need permission to display your phone? Yeah, I start casting, start now. So I hope that this gets still working on it. Cool, okay. This is my phone already. And as you can see here, I'll just go and access some of the phones that I have. I have Brave. What else do I have here? I don't want to open those. I can slide that. Um, hmm. I'll just go ahead and go Google. Try to go Google. You can see that this is connected to my phone. Okay, and of course your photos. Oh, that's my photo. That's my car. Photos, yep. I'll just go to my messages. I hope you're not going to read my message here. Okay, so I have my messages. I need to blur this one out. I don't want you uh, looking at that. How about um, make and receive calls? So your PC's Bluetooth is turned off. So I need to turn that one off. I mean, I turned that one on. I need to turn that one on. And of course, my notifications. If I'll have a notification from my phone, then I can go ahead and we need your phone's permission to sync notifications, open settings on your phone. Okay. I need to go and turn your phone companion here so that I'll receive the notifications on my computer. So how cool is that? Okay, cool. So that's just about it, guys. I hope this has been informative for you guys. I uh, hope to see you in my next video. And if you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing and help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. So that's just about it. See you in my next video.